Good evening. Hello, hello. Hi, good evening. Hello, Helen. Lorena, Jacqueline, Jennifer, Helen. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Great. Welcome. How are you tonight, Lorena? Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello Shackling. Um, How is everything? I only have three people tonight. Well, we're going to wait for the rest. Uh, meanwhile, uh, yeah, it's because it's, we are like three minutes before eight. Good evening, Rebecca. Maybe let us wait a little bit. Griselda's over here. Hello, hello. Hello. Okay, we're going to start with the question, right? Something. So, hey, actually, tonight, tonight. Good evening. Hello, hello, Ingrid. Tonight, um, we're going to finish this the section number three. And actually, you are um, in the second week of the curse. You're missing two weeks more in order to to continue with the with the next level of English. Okay, I can see some people here now. Helen, tell me about something uh, you learned today during the day. Pardon? Can you please tell me something, uh, a word, an expression that you have learned in English lately? Okay. Um, bueno, pues. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Margarita. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Helen. Go ahead. I have learned and practiced it a little how to improve myself to other people with the basic and one of the work that I have discovered and that I think in order to the story is something that we store in variety of places. Okay. Okay, thank you, Helen. Okay, thank you very much. Hello, 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 Lorena. Rebecca, are you there? Okay, Lorena, tell us about something new in English. Rebecca o Lorena. <clears throat> Lorena, go ahead, Lorena. Okay. 
Ay, si gusta que comience Rebeca, luego de, sigo yo porque perdí mi nota. Ok, Rebeca, go ahead, Rebeca. Ok. Sobre, sobre algo que he leído en inglés distinto. Yes, that's right, Rebeca. Hola, hola. Okay. I did a homework in, in, as a segment with my son, um, the Arctic continent, and I. Hola, hola. Hello, hello. We, we can listen to you. Don't worry. I did a homework for my son and learned about a continent Asia. No okay. sé si mi internet está muy lento o me... Okay, Rebecca. Hola, hola. It's okay. I heard what you Se said. Se queda congelado. Yeah, a little oh, okay. bit. Okay. Okay, so let's try with hey. volunteers. Ahora ya lo encontré. Okay, Lorena, go ahead. Uh, sí. Uh, now I learn. <laughs> Um, question um, with B. Uh, aprendí un poco, ¿verdad? Del again, you are, y um, vocabulario. Ok, que. Now, Goretti. Um, the Presentation, teacher. No, tell me a, a, about a new expression, no. a new word, a new phrase that you've mm -hmm. learned okay. today. Okay. Um, I I learned the new words. For example, empty is new for me. Um, thing. Um. Uh, a little heavy, <laughs> interesting <laughs> for the female um person. <laughs> okay, all right, pretty good. Thank you, good mm -hmm. Something else? That's it. All right. So let us listen to Henry Vladimir. Hello, Henry, are you there? De, de, tengo que decir de, de lo que... Exactly, I mean vocabulary, Henry. Una es I have three tickets for the game. Oraciones con números cardinales. Ok, excelente. Y la, o, la, la otra es There are 16 different plant species in, in this garden. In this garden. Okay, species, right? Good. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Well, people, we're going to start with the class. Okay, so we're going to talk a little about the presentations. Okay, we're going to start with presentations. Remember about um, describing a person you perfectly know regarding 
uh, to physical appearance and personality. Is that right? Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, pretty good. So let me see. We're going to try to do it according to the list of things. So we're going to have, uh, well, I have Goretti over here. Goretti is the first. Go ahead, Goretti. Okay. Well, um, good night, everyone. And I'm going to talk about, uh, about Dania. Dania is my daughter. She is very smart. Uh, is, uh, she is a teenager. Um, uh, she no, no talk, no short. <laughs> It's, it's medium and she is a pretty um and it's very intelligent and friendly and uh in this moment and she studied in the university but and uh, study a uh, cook and she prepared the dinner. It's, it's delicious for me. <laughs> okay, so she prepares dinner and now you are very happy <laughs> with, with it. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. You're very happy about <laughs> it. Uh, question, does she cook deliciously? Um. My daughter um, student uh, one year um, cook is very delicious the, the the dishes. Ah, okay. So is she a good chef? Uh, yes, um, she I, is, right? I, no, <laughs> my daughter, yes. Yeah, so yes, she is, right? Okay, yes. thank, thank you, Goretti. Good. Okay, so let's listen to Griselda. Hey, hey, that was quite good. Griselda, are you there? Uh, good. Eh, este, yo, pues, es un puerto corto comparado a lo de la compañera, va, pero ahí va. <laughs> She is Maria. She is my mother. She is tall. She is thin. She has short hair. She is uh, so I love <laughs> that was it Griselda hello hello okay thank you Griselda mm -hmm. thank you Griselda thanks for sharing that info okay Sure, but you put it to practice the statements about the verb to be. Okay, thank you. Now, that, that was Griselda Elizabeth, right? So now let's listen to Griselda Lopez. Yeah, yo era Griselda Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to listen to a, a Griselda Lopez. Hello, Griselda Lopez. Are you there? Good night, teacher. A very good evening. Good evening. Tengo un poco de problemas en la conexión, por eso es de que no le escuchaba muy bien y no me acepta eh, la cámara. Ah, ok, eso ok. Es que también un poquito tarde. Ok, ok. Yo lo hice súper corto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, my mom is my wife's kid, very social and friendly. Mm -hmm. No, así lo hice. 
Uh, so only, only Eso es lo que me puede atender. Mm, social and friendly. What about physical appearance? Uh -huh. My mom is my wife is very social and friendly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do me the favor to, uh, to continue working on it, okay? Okay. Okay, let's listen to Helen Andrea. Okay, thank you, Jacqueline. I saw the message. Um, I'm going to the street, my brother. Mm -hmm. And my brother, his name is Brian, has nine years old. He's tall and clean, with black hair and brown eyes. He's a big size, but I would like. It makes him easy to approach and home his humor with his job creating a little life and most for whoever he has differently around or family. Okay, okay, very good. Now, to include this uh, information about personal appearance, uh, I, I mean, and personality. Thank you, Helen. Henry Vladimir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yo no lo hice muy largo también, profe. Go ahead. I am go, going to describe my brother. He is name is Steven Mendoza. He is a very cute six years old little boy. He is very happy and almost always smile. He is also a very intelligent and very edu educated child. He like to paint and play a look. He loves cartoons and he also really likes to see the Salvadorian content creator Alfredo Larín. Eso es todo. Okay, thank you. Thanks for doing your best effort. Okay, now after Henry, we're going to listen to Ingrid. Go ahead, Ingrid. Lo que yo más temía, teacher. Bueno, ahí vamos. Description of my husband. My husband is named René Goches. He is tall, W, line scheme. He is 48 years old. He is mechanical. He is responsible, honest, Loving, dating audience, the work in a world fine for the well be of his family. He is my best friend, the Turner, uh, the girl, and life called as give me. Fantastic, eh? Talking about a husband like that, okay, that's uh, something amazing. Uh, congratulations, Singer. Gracias, thank you. Okay, so after Ingrid, we're going to listen to Dalila. I have Irma Dalila. I wonder if the leader is able to participate tonight. Dalila, are you there? Mm. 
Mm, yeah, teacher. Ah, Dalila is a listener tonight. Okay, so let's move on to the next per, to the next uh, presenter, Jacqueline Hernandez. Go ahead. Hello, good evening. I am going to describe the march of two women. Suppose the march is on the screen. The picture shows two women. The woman on the left sounds great. Joe, I think she probably is about 25 years or she has got grown high. The woman on the right is very old. I think she is she is her nineteen. She needs her to work. It looks as if she has got some problem to to do it by her. On she has got a short curly hair. The young woman seems to be nice and handsome. I think she is very keen because she looks at the old lady with a smile and she is helping to stand up. Okay, Jacqueline Hernandez, thank you for doing your best effort. Okay, thank you, Jacqueline. Okay, let me see. Thank you, Jose Fernando. Go ahead. This is your opportunity. Hello. Hello. Uh, good evening. My description is about my sister. My sister is a person good. Her name is Laura. She is beautiful and very funny. She has beautiful eyes. She is responsible. She is a small and cool. ¿Cómo se dice gordita? Chu. Chubby? How do you say chubby? Yeah. Is. Solamente. Oh, okay, only that. Pretty good. Thank you, Jose Fernando. We're going to go, or we're going to continue with uh, Jose Angel. Go ahead. Angel? Hi, teacher. Hi good there. evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I'm going to describe my wife. All right. Her name is Esther. That is spelled. E S T E R. She ha has hazel eyes and messy hair. She has beautiful brown skin. She's very happy when she reads a new book like Harry Potter or Agatha Christie. Mm -hmm. But it's very angry when I play games until very late. Eso es todo. Fantastic. Great job. Thank you, Angel. Thank you. Oh, let's continue by uh, having some more participation. Let's see if we can um, listen to Karel. Hello, Karel. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I'm going, I'm going to talk about my son. His name is Esteban. He has 12 years old. He has very quiet and super smart. Sometimes a little bit heavy. He has loves play video games and play soccer. He has 
very tall and he has black hair and he is super handsome. <laughs> it's folk teacher. It's all. Oh, that, that was enough. Great job. Okay, great effort. Thank you, Carl. <clears throat> You're welcome, teacher. Okay, so let's continue, okay? Because I, I, I hope everybody got, uh, everybody is ready for presenting the description of a person. Mm, Carl. Me. Oh, oh, Margarita, we have a, a, okay, so Margarita, go ahead. The volunteer. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, I describe my grandmother, is Guillermina Quiñones. Uh, she has a uh, 18, seven years old, and she is a student. Uh, she she has a uh, character and funny, happy, and sometimes she's angry, and she has a uh, white hair, and she is brunette, and her favorite color is blue, and her, her favorite food is all food. It, it is all. That was it. Wow. Great info. A lot of info. And I can notice that you were practicing about it. Uh, let me see. There is somebody interacting in the chat. That's uh, Josue Artiga, right? Exactly, Josue. That's the homework. Okay, so now we have well, there's a person who wants to participate. That's Carla Vanessa, right? Hello, Carla. All right, go ahead. Now you have the time to do it. Um, I will talk about uh, my brother. Um, his name, his name is Daniel. He's uh, twenty-four years old. Uh, he is, he but, is but, tall. I'm sorry, Carla. Uh, you said Daniel, right? Yeah. Okay, so they say he. He is. Uh, sí, sí, he is. Uh, no, okay. que and they, he, his name is Ah, oh, all right. Daniel. So his, his name is Daniel. All right. His name is Daniel. He is 34 years old. He's short hair. He's dark age. And brown hair. He likes plays video games and he plays talk and he kind. He's a doctor and he works uh, uh, in the hospital. Only that. That was enough. That was great. Okay. That was fantastic. Hey, you know what? Remember that tonight we're in church of working in the midterm. So it's important. Well, I can see that Josue says, I'm sorry. Uh, you've been working hard. Okay, don't worry. Okay, because I will ask for volunteers. Now, let us, let us have a volunteer to present the information and then we're going to continue with the class. One more volunteer. Any volunteers? No volunteers? 
Oh, no, I got Goretti once again. Goretti, go again. Go, go ahead. Um, explain and the present continuum, right? We are describing people, uh, Goretti. Oh. No, but if uh, you want. Uh -huh. Describe it. Describe uh, my um, cualquier persona. <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay. Um, Karen Beatriz. Ah, okay, so you will describe your <laughs> classmate then. Is... Okay. <laughs> she is um, black eye. She has um, black hair. Is with black hair and she is smiling and she's smiling and wearing the uh, rose uh, pink blue loose mm -hmm. blouse or blouse blouse she's wearing a, a pink blouse um i don't know she's tall or <laughs> or short <laughs> You don't know if she's tall or if she, if she is short. I don't know. <laughs> no idea. Um, and she, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, and I believe the ten years old, <laughs> twenty years old. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Um, and she is very friendly. Or uh, I I think <laughs> she seems to be very friendly, right? Very kind. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Goretti. That was good to describe that classmate. Thank you very much. So. Hey, Josue Artiga says, hey, I want to try it, teacher. Okay, so now you can try it. You can try it now. Okay. Uh, good, good evening, everybody. Hi. Uh, I'm going to describe my girlfriend. Uh, her name is Norma. She is 30 years old. She is living in San Martin with me. Uh, she loves uh, her pets. He, she has two pets. Uh, 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 the woman is, is the woman is uh, Luna, and the 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 man is Chester. Uh, her favorite color is blue, and she loves uh, watching. TV series, Abrians people, and she's working in a in a, a, a she 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 works in a in an area sell when you sell radios. Um, what else? He has white skin. She is very friendly with other people. And that's it. Wow, great. That was quite good. Well, guys, thank you, uh, Josue. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody, for participating. That's important. I told you from the very beginning, right? The more you practice, the more you learn. Well, we're going to go over the midterm. Okay, we're in the middle part. We have different sections on here. We're going to try to finish every single section, but we only have like 30 minutes more, less than 30 minutes. We like, we have like 25. So we're going to try to go over every single exercise and see if we are able to complete um the statements. In this case, you're going to complete by telling me, like, for example, his first name is Zachary, Zachary, second one, or the third option. So are you ready? Yeah. 
Yes, right. As always, you say, as always, teacher, I'm ready, more than ready. So we're going to listen to the audio. We're going to see the different statements, like his first name is, so the phone number is, that the uh, city player, so phone or camera is in his bag, that's what is under his desk, in his pocket, in his book bag. Okay, so let us try to continue now or to start with it. Now, yes. Turn off the microphone. Do you listen? Do you listen to it? Yes. Okay. Yes. First, first part. Units one to two quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hi, my name is Anna Chang. Hi, Anna. I'm Zachary Young. Zachary. Hmm, is that Z-A-C-K-A-R-Y? No, it's Z-A-C-H-A-R-Y. Z-A-C-H-A-R-Y. That's right. Two. What's your phone number, Sue? Phone number? It's 718-555-8871. I'm sorry. What's your phone number again? 718-555-8871. Thanks. Same in number three. three. Brandon, what's on your desk? Oh, it's my CD player. It's cool. And what's in your bag? Is it a cell phone? No, it's not. It's the camera. Oh, a camera. Nice. Big camera. Four. Oh no, where's my wallet? Is it in your pocket? No, it's not. Is it in your book bag? Um, yes. No, it's not. Wait a minute, look under your desk. Yes, here it is, under your desk. Thanks. Okay, I think it was enough, right? So. It's a short exercise, and now tell me the best option here. First, second, or third uh, one? The second, second one. The second one. <laughs> second one. So second. phone number is first, second, or third Three. option? Three. First? Three. Three. Ah, it's Three. the third one. Third, one. third option. Yes. Okay, number three. Three. Oh. Camera. Three. Camera. Third option, camera, right? Mm -hmm. Number four. Under his desk. 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 Seven one eight five 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 eight eight seven one. Z A C H A R Y. A R Y. Good. So everything is all right. It's okay over here. Second part, completing the missing words in this part. We have conversations. Once again, we had a uh, Matt, and I think we have Tony. A uh, Matt says Tony. This is my friend. Name is Jennifer Miller. Option or the word that's missing here? My. Mm, my? My. Who yeah. have? My. Your name. My. Ma, Tony, this is my friend. Name is Jennifer. Jennifer is the Hi. name of a person. Huh? Tony, this is my friend.
Tenemos recreo. Now, do you, see, do you see the exercise? Sorry, do you see the exercise? We have Jennifer, so what is the best option here? What is the missing word? Yeah, exactly. It's about here, here, here right? Good. Number two. Jennifer is in class. Or. 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 Our English class. Tony, or. what's last name again? Extra class. Okay, so but but what's missing here? Yours. Mm. Your. What? What's your last name? What's your last name? Your. Okay, so we we'll this one. Yes. And then we're gonna yes. see if you're right. Yeah. If you are correct or, or if it is correct or incorrect. Let's take a look now. Your. Mm -hmm. Her name is Jennifer. Our English class. Your last name again. And that's it. Okay, good. So second uh, or part B is done. Part C, we have another conversation. Tell me what's missing here. R. Are you Miss Brown? Are you Miss Brown? No. I am I'm not. not. I'm not. I'm not. Over there, my name is uh, Nicole Parker. She's, she's over, over there. there. My what name is, is Nicole Parker. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, nice to meet it's you. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Okay. Good. Number four. <laughs> you need a you need to choose the best option mm. here. Goodbye. Nice have a nice day. Thanks. You Thank you. Thank you too. See you later. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. How are you? How How are you? Not bad. Thank you. Not bad. Not bad. Thanks. Good evening, Thanks. Beth. How are you? Hello, how are you? No bad, thanks. Uh -huh. Good evening, Beth. Hello, Good how are night. you? Good night, see you tomorrow. Okay, let's check it. Good, hello, how are you, Mr. Smith? Not bad, thanks. Bye bye. Thank you. Thanks, you too. Okay, great job. Let's continue. We're almost done with it. Now we have an option for completing the statements. Number one. What are these? These. What are these? Earrings. They are they are they are earrings. They are earrings. Your sunglasses. 
artist your song was artist no no, no. they're not 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 they Wow, so if you've been working this way in the platform, of course that you're gonna get a 10 at the end. Uh, now, let her, let's see something about prepositions. So we're gonna go over in audio uh, again. We're gonna see uh, other pictures that we have. Uh, and uh, we're gonna complete a conversation. We need to select the correct preposition. Now it's very short also, but we're gonna listen, but we're gonna see the image first. Uh, Hope you can see it. Well, where are the keys? Where are the keys? Options? Um, um, they're on the um, briefcase. Okay. The, on the okay. briefcase. Okay. They're on the briefcase. Okay. They're on the briefcase. Is the city play behind the, the briefcase? No, it's not. Is no. next to the briefcase. Ah, it's next to the next briefcase. To... Let's see. Next to. Next. Next to. Where's the newspaper? It's on the. the... So you see on the right. And last one, yeah. are the books in front of in front of the city in player? Of... City player, oh right, behind, behind. Yeah, actually, it's behind, right? Right. Well, let's check it. In front of, on the next to, and the last one's about on. They are on the briefcase. Good. Two parts more, and we're going to be done tonight. Conversation. Complete the conversations, write the correct answer. Yes, we. Okay, start by, hey, Hiroshi, are you in my for Japan? Yes. We are. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we are. Oh, you're from Tokyo. Are. Are you? Are you from Tokyo? Are you from Tokyo? No. We're not. No. no. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. No, we're not. From Kyoto, plural. We're from we're Kyoto. From Kyoto. Like we like a positive statement. Uh -huh. We're from Kyoto. Well, let's check. Let's check. Kyoto. Good. Good. Perfect. Mm, quite fantastic. 
And it's selling, right? Okay, so we're gonna to try to finish with the last exercise. Over here, we're gonna complete the conversation with vowel each question words by selecting the correct question. In the conversation number one, we have a look. Oh, he's a new student. Who's that? Who's that? Who's I, that? Uh -huh. I think his name is Chin Q. What's his, what's, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? He's from China. Where are you from? Where are he from? Where is 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 he from? So let us check it. Good. Hey, yeah, but this is all right. I don't see the mistake. Okay. So that's okay. It's okay. This is okay. This is all right. And the last exercise. Oh, this one was the last one, right? So I think that is, you see, it's not that complicated, but important and very meaningful. It is very meaningful. So if we get back in time, we we, we can notice. That we already covered section one, section two, section three which is the one that we are discussing now. And well, the next week we're gonna start with this topic. Whose genes are this? Okay, so this is for the for next week. You need to complete, right? What you have started with. Now any question? No. No. Now, no. no, peer practice, right? So we have been working about peer practice. Now, let's see. Yesterday, we discussed a way to create these questions or these statements. And let me see. Well, I told you. Uh, before, right? So we're gonna talk about possession the next week. So uh, I, I will, I will ask you to to create like or to get some information about poss possessive adjectives and possessive noun case. This will be a humble people. Okay. That's where we say get some. Okay, so that would be like a homework for the next week. So congratulations to the people who have already participated. Now I will stop over here because everything regarding to the to the test is already done. Espero que todos hayan trabajado el examen. Okay, y pues que hayan obtenido el puntaje 
eh, más indicado que está sobre el 80%. No, any question? Yes, teacher. What's your... Tell me, Goretti. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, what, do you know my, about my name? My name is... Yes. Is, this a, is this the first time you get into the class, Goretti? Well, I will, I will type it in the chat. What? Okay. My name is Enrique. Okay. Ernesto Morales. Morales, right? So that's all right. But everybody calls me teacher Kike. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Oh, don't worry. It's okay. I don't know if you were in the in the in the first class because that was a class where we introduced um ourselves. Yeah, teacher Kike, it's all right, okay. Teacher Kike. Now, any other question? No. No more? No. Peer practice, right? No. So, uh, espero que sí hayan logrado completar todos los ejercicios. Está sencilla esa práctica, pero si ustedes se dan cuenta, es justamente um, respecto a la información que hemos venido estudiando. Eh, Karen. Okay, Karen, no questions? No, right? So you're saying no, that, okay, that you like it. Okay, so actually I like this group. Uh, I like uh, the way you uh, work. Me, me ha llamado la atención que hemos iniciado muy bien, okay? Solo decirles algo, que en sus presentaciones he notado que por lo menos para decirle edad de alguien, usted no dice he has or she has. Entonces aquí usted dice, she is, or he is. Si habla de usted mismo, ¿cuántos años tiene usted? Entonces dice, I am. Ok, pero vamos a usar el verbo be en esos casos. Ok, so if you don't have question. Tiene que ser, por ejemplo, he has. Uh, no. Si usted dice, si usted habla de la edad, no puede usar has. Sino que sería, he is. Wow, I did, sir. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, toda mi vida he vivido confundida. No, no, no. Este, fíjense que es muy bueno que en esos primeros niveles aclaremos ciertas cositas. Porque uh -huh. eh, en inglés, para decirle edad, usted dice, I am, yo tengo, I am 30, I am 40. Yo tengo 30, yo tengo 40. O si es varón, usted dice, he is 30, él tiene 30. She is 30. Sí, etcétera. porque yo dije, she has. Ya, sí, claro. Entonces eh, yo pensé que, ajá, yo entonces pensé que era, she has de yo tener. No, yo, lo, yo lo que tengo, como lo identifico a, a grosso modo, es que cuando, cuando se dice has, es que uno está hablando como de posesiones. Exacto. Y cuando uno dice is, es como que uno está hablando de describir de a alguien, de algo que no es una posesión o un objeto, algo así entiendo yo. Exacto, es que acuérdense que has, muy bien lo dijo Josué, es para decir que alguien tiene algo, pero algo como por ejemplo tiene dinero, tiene casa, tiene un vehículo, pero no la edad. Para la edad vamos a decir, uh, I am. Uh, tengo, I tengo 20 años, okay. o, para decir, o para decir que tengo frío, I am cold. Pero para las características que describen como el color de cabello o ah. facciones, sí se puede usar. Ahí el... sí, ah. ella tiene, ah. she has. She has. Black eh, hair. Black hair. Uh -huh. sí. She ah, has. Okay. Ajá, okay. pero cuando dice sus ojos son, her eyes are green. Sus ojos, sus ojos son verdes, are green. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, so we're okay, going to stop over here. Thank you. It's okay. been a pleasure. Very, thank you. We're going to... Yeah, recuerden que tienen tarea, tarea permanente que es aprenderse algo nuevo todos los días. Ok. 
So see you the next week, people. Okay, enjoy your weekend. It's been a pleasure. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. 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 Good